Thank you both so much for sharing that story. Um, we are going to hear from two newly elected members of Congress that we are so excited are here in just a second. But first, I want to thank two people um, that have been really central to making this happen. Um, there are a lot of people we can name, but, but I want to point out two. Um, the first one is Rob Denson. Uh, Rob is the president of Des Moines Area Community College and was one of Opportunity Nation's earliest and most fervent supporters and is leading uh, a whole range of fantastic work in, in Des Moines. We're, we, we love Rob. We're so glad that he's here today and, and a part of our campaign. Um, and I also want to thank uh, Mark Edwards, who's the founder of Opportunity Nation that many of the people in this room know and continues to work with us as our co-chair. We would not be here without Mark's vision and leadership. Uh, Mark, we love you. Thank you for all that you've done to get this work started. We stand on your shoulders. Let's give Mark a round of applause. So you have been hearing throughout the day living, breathing examples of the call to action that you received. Um, and I think by now you probably know that We Got This is the name of the call to action. That has been subtly woven in throughout the day. Hopefully you've picked up on that. Um, you got a copy of that. Um, that's going to be on Opportunity Nation's website going forward so you can continue to engage around it and share it with other people. What we want you to do, is just pick a part of that that you think you can connect with um, or challenge your employer or the folks in your neighborhood to pick a part of it and commit to doing something that cre could create an opportunity moment for young adults uh, where you live. There's something all of us can do, as we've heard throughout the day, just to run through those five buckets for folks. Uh, we need to train young adults to ensure all of them have meaningful work-based learning experiences to build skills, networks, and social capital. We want to hire, we want to give them jobs, bring on young adults, especially making sure that employers consider wider pipelines of talent than perhaps they have in the past. We want them to graduate. We want to continue boosting those climbing high school graduation rates, but also make sure more young people get a post-secondary credential to find a good job. We want to revive opportunity. We heard powerful stories about this all day to make sure that young nonviolent offenders that have had some sort of interaction with the criminal justice system really can be treated like the returning citizens that Mayor Nutter spoke about and get onto those successful pathways. And finally, as we just heard, we want to mentor. We want to make sure that young adults have a caring adult in their life and that is helping them connect with networks uh, through service learning, civic engagement, or some other kind of work-based experience to really build skills. Um, today is a big opportunity moment in and of itself, and it's going to launch thousands more, which we're so excited about as we go out from here and create more opportunities for young people. Um, and so to capture this moment, if you will indulge me, I'm taking a picture of all of you guys because this is an opportunity moment, and we're going we're gonna to tweet about it and share it on social media. So look up here and smile, everybody. Yes, you look great. Amazing. I got everyone's good side. Awesome. Um, yeah, okay, that's a framer, Ama amazing. All right, um, so I'm committing, I'm gonna share that picture in social media to share that this is an opportunity moment that's gonna create a bunch more. I challenge you to do the same in your own way um, coming out of the summit um, for whatever that means in your own life. Thank you all so much for being here um, and for contributing to this call to action. Um, and now we're gonna have uh, our, our next speakers, thanks.